Hi, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Sonal Sharma and I'm working as functional consultant with BISP Solutions. Today we are going to see uh, the overview of ARCS application and uh, how its home page looks like. What are the features basically provided by the ARCS application? For that, we need to first of all start with that there are in the practical uh, experience or practical practices uh, going in the market. There are multiple uh, you know issues related with the reconciliation process like manual intervention. Okay, it is really uh, tough to understand to segregate the duties and responsibility related to reconciliation, uh, incomplete informations, the safety related issues, or there are multiple types of error occurring here or uh, it's really a difficult task to before uh, closing the financial statement uh, complete uh, the reconciliation uh, process or the pending reconciliations here. Uh, the last uh, what I need to say is that compliance is one of the important tasks reason behind multiple uh, you know regulatory or compliance procedures which require the reconciliation can be done on the top priority. So here the ARCS application is basically purpose-built solution globally performing uh, where uh, you can uh, it, it is ensuring that there are two sets of records whether they are in agreement or not. You can see uh, the real time visibility over it. Here the automation is one of the important thing is that it is going to make the process easy and more uh, you know accurate. Here you need to uh, load the data go for matching or reconciliation process and finalize the data. There are two types of uh, modules there. The first one is reconciliation compliance and the second one is transaction matching module. Here in the reconciliation compliance module first, uh, you need to load the data. It is basically uh, comparing the data, okay, there are two types of data like source system or subsystem or for uh, the, uh, there are three methods, okay. So for the rest of the methods, you just need to provide one single uh, data here. Uh, after providing the data, you need to create the reconciliation and go for reconciliation. Once the preparation of reconciliation is done, the uh, reviewer can uh, review provide comments or approve or reject it. In the transaction matching process, there is one thing which is really important is providing the match type. Once providing the match type, you need to provide the data source or working with the transaction types. And once the transaction matching is done, you can go for the author and purpose. Here you can see uh, the home uh, page of the application. I will take you uh, to the home page of the application here. You can see that how it looks like. So this is uh, the home page of the application. Here you can see the navigator, which is provided as default. Through these features, you can directly move to any of the important or frequently used uh, you know, feature uh, while working on any of the application or cards here. So this is nav navigator provided. Uh, here you can see related to any period, if you want to see uh, the announcement made or any late reconciliation or what would be the activity done for today or even the seven days, how many reconciliations are open. So this is basically a very brief, uh, you know, report or a very brief understanding. Uh, basically for the purpose of understanding it is provided. So now we are moving to the cards provided by this application. These are the basic workings or the features provided by the application. So in the work list, the first one is work list where it is providing a completely a period and status of any reconciliation available to all users. Okay, as you can see, all the activities, all the reconciliations are covered here. Okay. In the reconciliation, the second card is providing reconciliation. This is basically a uh, list provided for already created reconciliation. This is we are going to cover as the first module, as I already mentioned. Here, uh, you can create the uh, all the created reconciliation can be seen here. In the matching transaction, all the transaction matching which are already created can be seen here. This is our second module. We are going to cover it in detail. Okay, the fourth one is alerts. Any type of alert you want to create, it allows the administrator and user to view and work with the alert to help user to basically resolve the roadblocks, okay, while creating or while working with the reconciliation, as you can see here. 
okay so this is alerts now the dashboard dashboard is providing you shows uh, the you know uh, progress and status uh, this this dashboard is providing you the uh, you know progress and status of any reconciliation through two uh, modes okay as you can see these two that is overview and compliance is basically providing you for the reconciliation purpose and this match matrix is useful for the transaction matching that is our second module so these are covered here in the report section uh, it is providing you all predefined uh, reports related to both the modules as you can see here okay so this is related to reports next to the application uh, we we are uh, about to talk about uh, wait a minute okay this is the application application is basically providing you multiple types of uh, you know features inside it the overview overview is related to basically the reconciliations overview and its status okay related to activities profile you can create the profile from here and also create the reconciliation through selecting the profile in the period section uh, you can open close or log the period or as well as you can import uh, the data import pre map data or you can create reconciliation from here in the configuration part you can uh, provide the detailed attributes systems currency uh, currency related uh, you know uh, attributes or settings format organizations all settings can be provided from this configuration part okay the next one is match type this is really important uh, with the point of transaction matching because uh, uh, transaction matching can be done only uh, before creating the uh, format you need to create the match type first of all you need to define the rules here okay the job job is basically providing you that history of job for reconciliation and importing transaction and balances for transaction matching purpose okay here uh, you can see all a uh, type of you know uh, this is also uh, available for both uh, the modules like reconciliation compliance module here you can see the history of the job okay what are the workings has been done what are open what is what are their status and last and uh, end date whereas in the transaction matching the second module here you can see the status of the jobs or activity as well as you can import the data import the transaction purge the transaction or run auto match from auto match from here so this is uh, basically the job uh, which is providing the service a service one is uh, providing you the facility of uh, you know sending the emails or uh, checking the status of the reconciliation whether it is open or close or uh, as well as uh, related to system maintenance these are the you know uh, facilities given by uh, the service archive is basically uh, allowing admin to keep the database uh, size check and help in performing archive or restore or purge uh, the you know functionality these are the features for the administrator it is providing okay so uh, the last one is report configuration it is uh, allowing you to uh, you know share uh, it is allowing you to create the custom reports or the report queries or any group reporting it is allowing you. Okay, so these are uh, the features provided by the uh, configuration, uh, sorry, application part. So these all uh, we had covered from here, okay, as you can see, okay archive or report configuration matching migration is basically providing you uh, while uh, you are importing the data in uh, previous data of any previous application into all together a new uh, application or the existing application here it is going to be used and in the data exchange definitely it will work at the time of uh, you know the data management or uh, individually as well so these are the feature features provided by the application in the tools you can 
can see there are uh, multiple features as well that uh, uh, we will go through it by one by one. In the appearance, it is providing you basically uh, or allowing you the administrator to ch uh, change the things according to its need or according to its requirement. Like it can customize the logo or background or theme or uh, anything you want to change in which way or which form you want to see the application, you can go for appearance. Announcement, this is basically uh, uh, allowed or available for the administrator if he wants to uh, give a general message or uh, announce something, he can do it from here. In the daily maintenance, uh, daily one hour time, uh, you know, according to the user's availability, during which Oracle performs routine operational maintenance like backup or snapshot. So these sort of things can be done from here. In the service activity, uh, it allows administrator to view or download systems, uh, you know, system or uh, a user login activity reports, which is uh, available for the administrator or the power user as well. Okay. Uh, in the next one, access control. Uh, access con control is really important uh, as per uh, the, you know, um, safety issues or uh, the, you know, um, accuracy point of view of application. It is really important that who will be the users, which role assigning to them, uh, who has uh, what power and who is going to access what information, how to manage the groups, providing, defining or who uh, defining the rules, okay, the reports of the their login activities, how to manage the teams or users that can be provided, as you can see, from uh, this particular, uh, you know, access control option. In the audit, as you can see, uh, in the audit, these are already uh, created, uh, you know, uh, uh, already generated audit reports uh, it is allowing administrator to view all the history of reconciliation uh, according to reconciliation compliance object wise as you can see here the object okay at one place its account id what is the name and its field what is the last modification made what is the old value new value or uh, what was the date last it was modified okay it is uh, basically showing you with filter the history by attributes okay displays with old or new values as for the objects it is again available to the administrator only in the migration part it is allowing the administrator to see the history of the particular application or to take backup of data management or financial close or group or membership uh, group and membership these are the you know backups you can take as you can see it from here or you can export it somewhere else and it is also providing you option to remove the application as well uh, it is basically uh, allowing the functional work and option to delete the reconciliation cancellation compliance and the transaction matching artifacts and data. So this is what migration is all about. And the clone environment, this is basically providing you administrator to uh, clone the snapshot of their environment okay if you want to exactly create the same to same uh, environment of application somewhere else you can provide the target data target detail or target uh, place you can provide the user id and password through which that cloned environment of application can be open there are multiple options given here you can select it according to your choice so these are basically you can see uh, these are the uh, features provided through these cards. This academy, it will uh, take you to the, you know, uh, the health centers uh, which are provided related to this applications, the, the videos available related to this application by the uh, Oracle provided. So you can refer in case of any difficulty through the academy. So this is all about the Oracle Arts application, its overview and its homepage, the features and tools uh, provided uh, by this application. This is it for today's video. Thank you.